Hello Gundam fans and welcome back to another two episodes of Mobile Suit Gundam Age. This is going to be episode three and four, the Twisted Colony the and the White Wolf. So it looks like here we're still getting an introduction to the character and the actual Age Gundam itself. This one seems to be a little bit slower on how it, how the pacing goes with the actual like introduction portion of it. So it's kind of neat, it's different. Most series are like, alright, first episode or second episode we introduce the main character. We introduce the Gundam, and then they fight, and then the next episode they continue. Or it goes first episode, introduce character, introduce people around them, introduce the Gundam at the end, and then the second episode is fighting, and then it goes on from there. It doesn't continue. This one is on episode 3, and we still have barely got the Gundam doing anything, so... I mean, it's done some stuff. It's walked around and killed two of the actual UG mo mobile suits, so... It's something, I guess, but really hasn't had this extremely cool ex epic hero moment. So, I guess we're about to have that. Let's go ahead and continue right here. Yeah, we got some new mobile suits coming in there. Mobile armor, I'm guessing. Oh, it is a mobile suit. Okay, it looked like a mobile armor because it was all... It just transforms. That's what it is. Damn, he can't get a hit on her. On the mobile suit. That place just seems like it's about to be uninhabitable real quick. Oh, the teddy bear. All right, mutton chops, let's go. Her name's Yudi, okay. Yeah, this is some new type shit right here. Got him, coach. But he says the other one to deal with. Oh, it's the one that you guys didn't deal with earlier. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. The old man's speaking truth right here. Is he gonna also save the old man while he's there, or is he just gonna have to, like, leave him? Oh, shit. Oh, now we get them fighting. Let's go. Oh fuck, he's not looking good either. This is actually pretty intense right here. This is a good way to open up a Gundam series, I'm not gonna lie. Because it doesn't feel rushed, I think is what's going on. So he's like his grandpa. Oh, he's actually doing damage to this guy. And there he goes, he's releasing the core. Damn, this plan just seems insane. That's all I have to say. This just seems absolutely ridiculous. They're going to pull an entire core of a colony with that little old ship. I mean, it is space, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a whole lot of weight, if anything, to it. Mm. 
Retreat. That's the only thing this thing's gonna have to do is retreat now. You guys might want to clear the area. You gotta go help him, bro. Oh, it's the old man. Oh, okay. He's still alive. But not for long, probably. <laughs> I'm getting his Uncle Ben speech. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's sad, but he got his Uncle Ben speech. Damn, we starting this series off with a bang. You gonna give him a gift, okay. The dude's like swimming. <laughs> He's got this. <laughs> it's amusing. Okay, what are these? Wait, what? Who the hell are these guys? All right, episode four. Let let's go. He's got little ears. Yeah, the white wolf. Okay. Oh, this Harlow's really really advancing crazy. This little dude looks like he's so traumatized all the time. But what about those two? Oh my god, he's a ladies man! He's a ladies man, got it, understood. Oh my god, this dude. What is up with this dude? <laughs> Jealousy. Got it. But he's a strange dude. There was another mobile suit that, that was white. You can have that one. <laughs> oh my god, she's so worried. Oh, she's not liking it either. Oh, he's got an actual police suit on. Okay, I was like, what is he wearing? Okay. Police suit, got it, understood. See, that's an all-white mobile suit. It's perfect for you. You wanted it white, you get white. I think Flint's going to really need his training, because he can pilot the Gundam, but his experience isn't there. Ooh, he got him. 
This is actually neat. They're showing the main character actually training and getting better instead of just being in a, what do you call a, like a training simulator. So they're actually like mock battling. She just wants him to lose. Damn girl, you're supposed to be like the, the, the one to inspire him. Oh, they got a friendly. Well, they're going to need to give Mr. Wolf there a nice little weapon, too. As, as he speaks, he sounds like Moo from Seed. Like, I, I, I think that's the same voice actor. Shit, it's an entire ship full of them. Oh, he just removes it like that with the beam la beam saber thing. All right, come on, bro. You gotta, you gotta be better. He was getting excited, real excited. <laughs> Oof. Got his leg. He is not looking so good. I mean, he just has a little practice rifle, so... What else can he do? And like I said, print him out another one. You got a 3D printer on that bitch. Just get him a second one. Oh, it could go invisible. I get it. I get that's why they, they're able to hide so efficiently. Oh my god, he's given the tough man routine. I have this strange feeling, though, he's going to be like a mentor to him. And who are they, bro? Alright, that's the end of those two episodes there. This series is being pretty good so far. I'm digging it. Wolf is a very cocky, interesting man, but I have a feeling... Why does his voice sound so familiar? I'm pretty sure someone's going to leave that comment. I, I, I have a feeling he shares the same voice actor with Mew from uh, Seed. And, of course, Seed Destiny. So, I'm just like... It sounds familiar, so I don't know what's going on with that. And it looks like they have the... The, e, the UE, though, they are... Are they human? Are they aliens? What are they? Because it's not really answering that. I think they're probably humans, probably just some civilization somewhere that's trying to like be like the Zeon and Federation, but instead we just don't know because they've never revealed themselves. So I guess I'll have to see what happens with that. Anyway, though, that's going to be the end of this two episode right here. If you're liking the video and you want to continue on this adventure through the Age series, go ahead and slash that subscribe button. If you have been watching my videos for and you haven't yet, do the same. I appreciate those that have, and I'll see you guys in the next one.